great effort overall. Uh, experience for a lot of guys that we're going to depend on going forward. What a game between the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. Emotions were high as the game definitely had a playoff feel to it. The Bucks were up 10 at halftime, but down the stretch, it was a fight to the finish as the Celtics looked to put it away. However, turnovers were an issue in this contest as the Celtics committed 15 and the Bucks were able to close out on a 9-0 run to grab a 127 to 121 finish. And although it wasn't the result the Celtics wanted, they were pleased with the way that they moved the ball and their overall effort. Great effort overall, uh, experience for a lot of guys. Uh, we're going to depend on. It was similar to Toronto in the sense we played extremely hard, but um, you know a few plays stand out. Some of the turnovers, you know, 22 points off turnovers, 19 fast break points, and 14 second chance points. And so, uh, as lethal as that team is of a scoring team, we helped them out a lot in the first half. I got better in the second half, but the ones that stick out are the offensive rebounds late when we you know, had a three, four point lead. Those are teaching points. Uh, you know. Great effort overall by a lot of guys in some different positions, but um, you know, we'd like to be a little tighter down the stretch and execution wise. Everybody's just playing unselfishly, um, driving, creating for others, um, and it just makes basketball fun. So I think we're just doing a good job of driving, um, drawing to, and then just kicking out to the open guy and people knocking out shots. So um, it's fun to play that way, and we've been doing it for a while now. Just making the right play, guys hitting shots. You know, just doing a good job of uh, making the reads, you know, um, going to have to. You know, as good as we've been playing, teams going to play us. They throw different looks at us, and we have to be ready to, to, to provide what we need at that time and, and make that pass. Now the Celtics were without Jason Tatum, Al Horford, and Rob Williams tonight, and Marcus Smart touched on that post game, saying that it shows the progression that they're making as a team and individually with guys stepping up saying we didn't have everyone tonight, and look, we gave the Bucks a run for their money, and that just speaks to the resilience of our group.